For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that we have done, whether it be good or bad, knowing therefore the despair of the Lord, we persuade men that we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. This is, for we recommend not ourselves again unto you, to give you occasion to glory on our behalf, that you may have somewhat to answer them, this glory, the appearance, and not in part. For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God, for whether we be sober, it is for your cause, for the love of Christ constraineth us, because of us judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead, and that he died for all, and they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, one to him which died for them, that rose again. Wherefore, henceforth, no, we no man have no flesh yet, though we have no Christ after the flesh. Yes, now, henceforth, we know him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away, behold, all things have come new, and all things are of God, who hath reconciled us himself by Jesus Christ, and have given to the mystery of reconciliation. To which the God was in Christ reconciling the world, and sent not imputing their trespasses unto them, and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as so God has beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be you reconciled to God, for he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made of the righteousness of God in him. We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that you receive not the grace of God in vain. For he said, I have heard thee in the time of seven, and the day of salvation hath actually heard thee. Behold, now is the seventh time, behold, now is the day of salvation, giving no offense in anything that the mystery is to be blamed for not, but in all things approving ourselves as the mysteries of God, and much patience and afflictions and necessities and distress, and stripes and imprisonments and forts and blavers, and watchings and testings by appearance, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love, on pain, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of the righteousness, on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying, and behold, they live as chances and not true, as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing as poor, yet making many rich. As having nothing and yet possessing all things. O ye Corinthians, our mouth is open unto you, our heart is enlarged. Ye are not straightened in us, but ye are straightened in your own bowels. Now, for recompense is the same, I speak as unto my children, be ye also enlarged, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what else should have righteousness and with unrighteousness, and with meaning have life with darkness, and what part for it hath Christ of battle? But what part hath he that leadeth with an infidel? What degree hath the temple of God of Bibles? We are the temple of the living God, as God hath said. How they'll know and walk in them, and I'll be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore come out from Luke, among them, and may ye set up the Lord, and this not unclean thing I will receive you. And I'll be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Having after these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of spirit, and perfecting holiness of the fear of God. Receive us, we have loved no man, we have corrupted no man, we have defrauded no man. I speak after condemn you, for I have said before you that you are in the hearts of the dead eye, and none of you. Great is my bonus and speech towards you, great is my glorifying of your high and full comfort. I am exceedingly joyful in all tribulation, for when we were come to Macedonia, my flesh had no rest, but we were troubled under attack, without providing pain for fears. Nevertheless, God hath comforted us to those that are cast down comfort us, like we are righteous. And not by his coming only, but by the consolation wherewith he was comforted, and you, when he falls in your eyes, is after morning, your fervent, nine, forty eight, so that I rejoice the Lord. For God made you sorry, for the letter, I do not repent, though I did repent, for I perceive that the same epistle hath made you sorry. But I have for a season. I rejoice now, not that you were made and sorry, but that you were sorrowed in the repentance. For you were made sorry after a holy manner, that you might receive damage by us and nothing. For God makes sorrow work of repentance and salvation, not to be repentant of the sorrow of the world will give death. For behold yourself, same thing that you sorrowed after a godly sword. What carefulness is brought in you, yea, for fear of yourselves, yea, for indignation, yea, for fear, yea, for the eminence of desire, yea, for zeal, yea, for revenge. In all things you have approved except to be this matter wherefore I, though I wrote unto you, and it not to the cause that had done the wrong nor for his cause, this other wrong, but then our prayer for you, and said God, I fear for you. Therefore, we will comfort you in the comfort you make, exceedingly more joy, we will the joy of Christ, because his spirit is refreshed by them all. For if I have boasted anything to come of you, I am not ashamed, but has we spake all things for you and treat, even so I boasting that I made before Titus to stand the truth, and his inward affection is more honest for you, while I remember the obedience of you all. How the fear and trembling you receive him, I rejoice that whether I have confidence in you in all things. Moreover, brethren, we do you to much of the events of God to share in the churches of Macedonia, found that in the great affliction that abundance of the joy, and their deep poverty, abounded in the riches of their liberality, forced their power, have their record yea, and beyond the power they were building themselves, praying us with much entreaty that we will receive a gift and take on us the fellowship of the ministering of the saints. And this they did not this week up from the first day of their own selves, the Lord and us, the will of God. And so much I would desire Titus, as he had begun, so he would also finish in you the same grace also. Therefore, as ye bound in everything in faith and utterance and knowledge and all diligence and in your love to us, see that ye bound in this grace also. And so we might like men, but by occasion of the forwardness of others and the fruit of sincerity of love. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, as so he was rich yet for your sex he became poor, that he learned his poverty might be rich. And Herod, I give my advice, for this is expedient for you, who have begun to forward not only to you, but also to forward a year. Now therefore perform the doing of it, and as though there is readiness to fill, so there may be a performance also out of that which you have. For it may be a first living mind is acceptable according to that of man, and not according to that hath not. For I mean not that other men be ease and be burden, but an equality, that now this time your honest may be supplied for their wants, that their honest also may be supplied for your ones, that may be an equality. As the reason he has that gathered much had nothing over, and he that gathered little had no life. But thanks be to God, which put the same earnest carries a heart of for you. For neither he said the deportation, but being more forward, and his own accord, he wants to be you. And we have sense with him the brother who praises the gospel throughout the churches, and not that only, but who was also chosen church to travel with us, but the grace which is administered by us, the Lord, the same Lord, in operation under a ready mind, avoiding this, that no man should blame us in the abundance which is administered by us, providing for honest things, not only in the sight of the Lord, but also in the sight of men. And we have consent with them, our brother, whom we have oftentimes proved diligence in many things, but now much more diligence upon the great confidence which I have in you, whether any do inquire, try to see my father and village covered concerning you, who our brother be inquired of, they are the messengers of the church of the Lord of Christ. Wherefore, show ye to them, before the church is in proof of your love, and of your boasting on your behalf. For especially the ministering of the saints is superfluous for me to write to you, for I know the fullness of your mind. For which I boast of you to them of Macedonia, Achaia, who is ready for your good, and your zeal hath provoked very many. If have I said, brethren, less boasting of you to be in vain than this to have. And as I said, he made it ready. Thus have they, if they of Macedonia come with me and find you unprepared, we them say not ye. 
should be ashamed for the same problem for sake. Therefore, I thought it necessary to sort of value that they would go forth unto you and make up beforehand for bounty, whereof he had not the same before, as the same wise theory as my bounty and my covetousness. But this I say, he which so sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which so bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according to his purpose in his heart shall let him give by grudging it or of necessity, regardless of the cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound for you, and he also, always having false efficiency in all things, may bound to have a good work. Let us reason him to stress abroad. We have given the Lord his righteousness to make forever. Now he that ministered the seed is the sower, who hath ministered bread for your food, and also by your seed is sown, and increased the fruit of righteousness. Things to which and everything to all bountifulness, which cause of fruitless and clothing seeming to be God, will have no special bestowal, is not only supplied for what the saints, but is abundant also by the many things seeming to be God. While such experience is ministration, they walk by God, your professional subjection, and by God, by Christ, for your able distribution, unto them, and unto all men. And I prepare for you, which longing after you, is it for the exceeding grace of God in you. Thanks be to God for his unspeakable gift. Now I call myself, beseech you by the meekness and the gentleness of Christ, who is present and grace among you, that being absent and now all the towards you, but I beseech you that I may not be born, for I am present with that confidence wherewith I think we walk against him, which think of us as if we walk according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, so falling down for the struggles, casting down imaginations and every high thing, exalted itself against the knowledge of God, bringing to captivity every thought of obedience to Christ, and having a readiness and revenge of all his obedience, when your obedience is fulfilled, do ye walk on things after the outward appearance? And I may trust himself that he is Christ, let him of himself. Think of that again, and as he is crisis, even so are we crisis. For no Christ should have boast so much more for our authority which the Lord hath given us, navigation, after destruction. I should not be ashamed that I may not seem as I was terrified by you by lusters, for his lusters say they are waiting powerful, for his bodily presence is weak, and his future is uncomfortable. Let us just one thing best, as such as we are in word by lusters, when we are absent, such will be also indeed when we are present, for we do not make ourselves out of the number, they are so, but some command themselves, but they are moving themselves by themselves and themselves among themselves are not wise. But we will not boast of things without our measure, but according to the measure of the rule which God has distributed to us a measure to reach, even unto you. For as we push hard not ourselves beyond our measure, as we reach not unto you, for we have come as far to you as in preaching the gospel of Christ, not boasting of things about our measure that is, but of men's labors, but having hope for your faith is increased, that we should be enlarged by you, according to your rule, abundantly. The Christian gospel in the regions beyond you, and not to boast in other men's life, things made ready to our hand. But he that they glorify, that he glorify in the Lord. For not he that commendeth himself is approved, but whom the Lord commendeth. Would to God he could bear with nay a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you and godly jealous, for I have this vow with you to one husband that I may present you in the chest of Christ. But I fear by any means that the servant of God be through subtlety, that your mind should be corrupted from simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or he has received another spirit which he had not received, or another gospel which he had not accepted, he might well bear with him. For I suppose I was not the wits behind the very shapeless of apostles. But though heavy rude in speech, he hath not the knowledge, for we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. So I committed an offense in abasing myself, that you may be exalted because I have preached to you the gospel of God really, and I robbed over other churches, taking wages to do you service.